I've got my groceries. You can see the boat out the back. But uh, yeah, I just come up here to a nice high point where I can see the water <laughs> or not see the water. Not quite the uh, weather I was hoping for. <laughs> it's pretty windy. I don't know if you can see down like, uh, well here, yeah, I'll open the window for a sec. Oh, it's coming in very quickly, but it's actually, yeah. There's a few white caps now, so oh, I'm getting wet, let's run it But this squall could pass pretty quick as well. It's come over real fast, so hopefully it passes as fast as it got here. Because it was actually patchy blue sky when I first woke up. But then I just went and got some groceries and things, and um, yeah, it's, this has come over that quickly. But there is a nicer patch of sky there, and the radar suggests it's going to pass maybe over the next 20 minutes. She's a bumpy one. <laughs> God. Great. Just got to slowly hack away at it. We're getting there. I think I'm slowly just now getting a little bit of protection from the island. But I've been catching up to this sailboat just here. I don't know if you can see it very well on the GoPro, but she's bouncing around there. Definitely makes me jealous of not having her up here yet. We'll have to get up to the island soon, but... And then this island would just be the beginning because we can go so much further out. But uh, yeah, let's just get somewhere nice first. I've got a beach in mind for this trip. Let's get through this wind. Slow and steady. Now I'm not staying here, but I just know that the reef looks pretty good here, this tide right now. I'm going to go further around off the main island, which is down there, and quite a bit further on the furthest tip. But I was just passing this one, I thought, you know what, I've got a lure all rigged up. I wouldn't mind just having a quick cast over it, even just one pass. You never know. I've got a lure on here, ready to go. We'll need more drag than that though, if we get some. <laughs> Just in case there's a sneaky trout or something that has a little liking to the uh, lure. Wind's going to push me pretty quick. Oh, oh, there we go. Bloody hell. That was quick. <laughs> First cast. Wow. What have we got? It's got a little bit of go. Oh, come on. Don't snap me off. Ooh. What have we got? I think he might have reefed me then. Oh, come on. Yeah, he's swam into a hole, I think. Oh, come on. Yeah, we'll let it go. We'll let it go loose and we'll see if he thinks he's off. I'm going to get swept down here so fast, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Damn. Oh, he's pulling again. Oh, come on. I can hear it pinging off the... Uh, Coral. Ah, he's definitely reefed me. What am I gonna do? <laughs> First cast though. <laughs> Let me just start the engine. I'll come back around. See if we can find a better angle here to get him off. It's so windy that I can't really hold position. Great idea, Rod. <laughs> Maybe we'll try and get the snorkel out. It's just there and I'll see if I can at least have a look at it. Oh, he's been using these. They're tight. Oh, just came off. Ah, oh, damn. Well, maybe that wasn't the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> it was all ready as well. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what it was. Felt a bit too, uh, Good to be a cod. Usually, oh, this is let's was a bigger cod. Maybe coral trout. Who knows? I'll never know. Oh man, my lure as well. I think I only bought one of those one small lure like that. Let's have a quick go with this guy. Just thread him on. Push him down. 
and then we switch it around we just, I like to spin it and then go back through this channel you don't have to rig it this way but I quite like it sort of hold the hook in there a little bit better except I haven't gone far enough back wow looks quite nice now all of a sudden oh there's something oh he's let it go damn what was that Something definitely had a go. Pulled the plastic down, then let go. Bummer. Feels like fishy, that feels pretty fishy though. Yeah, all those little baits, every time I'm bringing this in, I don't think it's the lure that would be scaring that bait that quick much. So something's obviously coming in and chasing it. Oh, here we go. There's another fish, wow. Feeling pretty fishy, huh? <laughs> Look at all the bait getting spooked up. All right, buddy. Well, nice old wine netting cod. First fish of the trip. Bummer, I didn't get that other one. Oh, he's quite plump. <laughs> yeah, beautiful looking fish, but uh, not big enough. Would actually be quite good eating, except not uh, at this size. You're not allowed to keep them. They've got to be 38. Oh, there you go, mate. Not my best release, but yeah, it'll be all right. Kind of ruined my plastic a little bit, buddy. Oh, there we go. There's another fish. Feeling not much fight. Maybe another cod. Slightly heavier, maybe. Just water ski you in, mate. It's the same bloody one. <laughs> Surely not. Look at that. Another one of them. Well, it's not really what we came here for. Oh, you're actually quite spiky, mate. I might use the pliers for you. Well, unfortunately, we missed our better fish, I think. There we go. Yep, well, the plastic's pretty much done. <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll move on. Get a bit close to the shore. How cool is this little island? If anyone recognizes this island, this was actually the first video, the first island video I did, I think. I think I did it in a skiff. This is actually the island I came to. It's actually quite nice, but, it's not where I plan to stay today. But I'll tell you what, if it's got the best weather, it wouldn't be a bad option. Yeah, I never actually, I don't think I've ever come back. I might, oh, I've come back to have a quick spear or I think I've got a lobster or a crayfish, sorry. Um, depending on where you're from. Here once on the way back through, but I haven't stayed here once since that first time. Let's uh, check this in here. But we'll keep moving for now. I don't want to catch any more of those cod. Damn, what was that first fish? <laughs> anyway, we'll see if we can get across to these next islands and get some protection so we can go a bit quicker. That big rock I'm about to crash into there. No, too late. Oh, it's 
fairly hard sand, but it's still pretty heavy with all this stuff in it. <laughs> That'll do. Okay. I don't know if that storm's gonna hit me. Ah, oh, it's all gross. Okay, I don't know if that storm's gonna hit. Geez, it's nice and protected from the wind here, but there is a storm coming over, so I might just quickly set up tents immediately, pretty much. Just grab the tent bag, we'll head up and we'll see if we can find a nice spot. I like this pandanus, but I don't know if it's really flat enough. So just go right here. Ooh, I can feel that storm coming. Let's make a call, we'll make it quick. Jeez, it looks nice over here, doesn't it? Oh. Little dog trucks or something. So I wonder what kind of trucks they are. Could be almost like a deer. Little, little hoof. I wonder what they are. You know what, maybe under this little casuarina here is the way to go. A little bit flatter. It's quite, quite a lot of leaves on it actually at the moment, so should... Oh look, a coconut. Lots of little, little footprints, I wonder what they are. Yeah, I think right here might be the go. Pretty much smack bang in the middle of the beach. It's almost as if... The animals have been taking the shade under this tree as well because there's so many little little footprints. It's got a little split hoof. Hmm. Cute. Maybe we'll see some in the mornings. I can actually feel the air changing. It's getting sort of cooler and more breezy all of a sudden. Oh, did I just snap my bag? Can't get it out without the sleeping bag out. <laughs> Oh, we did have tent pegs in here. What do you know? Just wondering where they were. I chucked a whole bunch more in the bag. <laughs> Sand in the hole. there almost slight incline up that way but that's all right oh geez look we are literally just gonna make it come on let's get this on top i can feel it starting to sprinkle already Whew. so we made it with literally seconds to spare <laughs> But we made it. So that's all that matters. Because now we've got somewhere dry to stash our stuff. Oh, great. Sleeping bag got a bit wet then. Thought it was dry enough. Uh oh. Oh. Well, that's how close it was. The boat's safe there. It's going down. The tide's going down. We'll keep an eye on it, obviously, but uh, should be right there. But yeah, we might have to sit this storm out. Did we get everything though? We got everything? The sleeping bag, we managed to just get the sleeping bag in in time. Got some clothes and bits and pieces here. Can just chuck them down there. Don't bring much, but what I do bring, I need to be dry. Ugh. Here and I'm hoping my mattress is in here. Is, you feel it? There we go. So might as well blow that up while we wait. Let's just have one last peek. Whew. Just made it. <laughs> yeah. Really just made it.
<laughs> by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> and there's some blue sky already. Still sprinkling a little bit, but it's already pushing over that way pretty quickly. Hopefully we get a bit of sun again. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> it's your boat now, is it? You know what, everything can stay for a second. I'll get this out. I always come up here and just use lures and have a bit of a muck around, but I'm never really in the uh, game to catch a big fish, like a big, um, like a big Spanish or something, or a big tuna. Let's not lose this strap. <laughs> So I always, you know, just want something just for dinner or just for lunch and I can't store it so I never sort of take too much. But this time I thought, you know what, let's bring some baits. Let's uh, troll some gar fish just like I would back home. See if we can get onto a big mackerel and then we'll have ice. We can pack it up. This trip was only, there's only a small weather window really. And you can see it's very iffy already. But tomorrow is meant to calm right down. So hopefully if we can get out there, we can try and catch a big fish and take it home for the family. Plus we'll have a big cook up on the beach. So a big fish is really the aim of the game, especially because Misty's been taking up so much time, the sailboat, and uh, hasn't allowed me to do much fishing. Plus the weather is, I don't know where you are in the world, but here it has been torrential rain up and down the whole of the east coast of Australia for the last maybe two weeks. Like I'm talking flooding down in New South Wales, completely like, wiping out the whole weekend of just solid rain like or any day really for the last maybe two weeks almost solid with just little breaks in between so there hasn't been a lot of fishing anyway <laughs> so i figured let's go and try and get in one like last island trip in before maybe the christmas holidays because then it'll always all be about the kids and christmas and all of that kind of stuff and just making sure they're happy and having fun and we'll do nice things but i don't think i'll get up to the islands we might try and uh, sail Misty up to, um, say, maybe the Stradbroke or Morton or something like that and get her like a week away with the family. But apart from that, I don't think I'll be able to get up here again. So it was nice to sneak one last trip in. Hopefully my ice stays cold. Where should I put it? Looks like more rain though coming. <laughs> maybe I could just go for a swim, go for a little snorkel. There's no reason why we couldn't spearfish. Yeah. And maybe we'll chuck this in this corner while it's got no sand on it. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't sound like it's got anything in it. Ah oh, man, it's really starting to rain again. Might have to hide out. Ugh. Need something to hold this out. Need to get a stick that can hold that up and out. Because this vestibule doesn't it doesn't quite come out far enough. Like the other one that I had, the other tent I had, it actually sort of came out a bit further. So it gave you just that little bit of coverage to have the door open. But this isn't quite cutting it. <laughs> anyway, let's hide out a little longer. one way to get the sand off it is pouring oh it's blue sky over there it has been pouring just passed over again oh, yeah no nah, we haven't done much it's been pouring for about the last 15 minutes but uh it looks like yeah looks like it could stop again at some point i'll just you know commit to just going out there and maybe jump in the water. Maybe we could go for a spearfish or something just around this corner. Seems as we're kind of getting to get, going to get wet <laughs> anyway. But uh, we'll, we'll see how long this next one sort of lasts and once it blows over we'll get out there. And there it is. It's gone again. <laughs> oh. And there's some sun and blue skies. But for how long? <laughs> Whew. All right, let's go down. We'll go get uh, the esky and we'll maybe, I guess it might be nice to jump in the water. It's quite hot after sitting in the tent. It's 
quite a cool little beach. Got these Velcro straps. These are actually off my kayak, but they're finally, uh, the Velcro on them is finally sort of given up. It doesn't really grip very well, especially once it gets wet and it loses all its uh, grip. We might have to come up with a better solution for those because it's really annoying. I end up spending the whole time pushing the esky up with my foot every every wave gets a bit annoying. Oh. Right, we'll get this up. Yeah, there. Might even just lock it down and leave it like that. Okay, so I'm just getting ready. How, how average of an idea is this? I just got a new mask because I broke my art mask on the last island. I just went to put this on and you need an Allen key to get this on. And I just went to put the, like a, I got it off with the pliers and I went to put the, you know, like the other screw in kind of uh, knob that you get with the GoPro cameras from my chest mount and you can't, it doesn't fit in, it hits this part of the mask. Guys, come on, seriously. Like an Allen key, how am I meant to get the camera on and off? Oh, let's go straight in here. Uh, and as with every trip recently, <laughs> will this be the trip where my spear gun rubbers break? They just keep going for some reason, but I know they're gonna break soon because they're very, very close.
just jump out before I lose my camera. If I haven't already. <laughs> Everything in this bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair bit of swimming. <laughs> Don't know if I'd call it uh, the most epic spearfishing, but um, we saw some cool stuff. The bed sounds like a car alarm. dry up and we'll take our goods up <sighs> we have something to eat which is cool not quite the uh, epic uh, I don't know what I was expecting but you know normally I go for something like a coral trout or you know tusk fish they're sort of the mainstays that you normally go for but these guys have been making more and more of an appearance on my videos <laughs> recently This is what we're looking for. Alright, we're feeling refreshed. <laughs> we'll get out here and check out the fish. So we've got our stripey, striped snapper, and we've got our broken rubber. So we knew it was going to happen sooner or later, so that's actually pulled through there. It's lucky we still had that other one. We clearly didn't need to. <laughs> Look, to be honest, I had no intention, I want to put him up here because this rock's a bit warm. Um, I really had no intention of um, getting like one of these striped snapper again for a while, but I was going through and I was really only seeing parrotfish and then every corner I turned around, a decent sized stripey would come up and just like get right in front of the gun and I was like, all right, all right, you know, no, 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 we're not going to do it. We'll wait and see if something better comes along, but sometimes you regret doing that because you you don't see anything else from that point on you think man i could have had dinner tonight and i've blown it happened like at least three times or something so anyway we swam back didn't see a whole lot didn't want to get a parrotfish because they didn't they're doing all the good work for the reef so i thought you know what i've had luck getting crayfish on this sort of around this point here but it was weird as soon as well as soon as i got to that point like this guy swam straight up past me and so i was like okay well we'll take him because it's starting to get the slim pickings so we took him and he was literally right in front of the gun so he was made the easiest shot in the world so then we felt good about that but we thought we'll have a quick look for crayfish but funnily enough as soon as i got around there it's almost as if the sand has moved and it's covered up all there used to be like a couple of coral bombies that would sit at the edge of the edge of all the rock work there but they're all gone it's sort of like as if they've all been covered up by the sand or the sand movement has covered like parts of the reef up on the bottom so i don't know maybe it's my imagination because it's been at least two years since i've been here but for some reason it seemed like they just weren't there at all so anyway yeah maybe maybe i'm imagining it how it was differently but i'm pretty sure there was a lot more bombers to check last time so i didn't see any crayfish but we did see this guy so we've ended up with a good stripey <laughs> Here's a decent enough size to fill it and we'll get a decent amount of meat. So maybe I'll fill it them and then I'll, um, I've got some couscous up there. Maybe we could do like a Moroccan couscous or something, like put some spices in there. We'll get the couscous looking really nice and then we'll just deep fry this guy quickly and then just lay him on top, something like that. But I think that's what I had planned. It was one of the meals I sort of had in the back of my mind. And then, uh, yeah, it should be quite nice. I'm interested to see how high the tide comes. I'm assuming probably you just 
this slide here. And we'll just keep an eye on it, keep moving it up if we have to. Not a bad snapper actually, is it? Look at that. It's great. You might want to clean this up there. Yeah? Nice. You can get some rust from the bottom of the pan or something. Oh, it's a big gas bottle, that's what it is. the rib just, just take the skin over the same time I guess now that we're halfway there taking all the meat off there but you can see when we go into the belly cavity that this was a female with eggs so I'm sorry about that girl I'm sorry to stop you from doing that but what we might do with all this row is we might just cut it out and we can eat that as well and it's a bit of a waste this is very edible and she's loaded with eggs wow sorry <laughs> she's obviously ready to breed look at that that's all her eggs Pretty good already actually. <laughs> we haven't even cooked it yet. There we go. Just in case. Alright, well I guess we better uh, cut up some ingredients. <laughs> Still not that late, but I'm getting a bit worried about uh, this rain that's sort of coming over, you can see it's pretty much engulfed the mainland. Seems to be moving across that way, so hopefully it'll miss me altogether, but it does seem to be getting a little bit closer this way now, so we'll just have to see what happens. That's something I probably need to replace. Let's hope it doesn't play up. Haha. <laughs> How good is that? That's luxury. I'm not used to having such a luxurious, well set up little cooking area. Normally I'm sitting in the sand, or just kneeling and it gets really sort of hard. Whereas this, should be perfect. Seems to work. A little bit of water. Try and get some cleaner water. A little bits in that. Let's see if we can get some cleaner stuff from out here. There we go. Okay, so what we want is so one about a cup and a little bit more than a cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about maybe half a cup of salt water. And then I'll do a cup of fresh water. Oh, it's going to fall. Probably end up with too much couscous, but better to have too much than too little. Oh, what's that? Could give them a clean and a sharpen. Yeah, definitely need to sharpen. Well, I'll never get it as sharp as when Will gave it to me, let's put it that way, but we'll do our best. Gee. Capsicum, yeah. What else? And I might just uh, do one cut in half and then just do sort of slightly bigger pieces. I'm going to be able to taste it. 
Might actually do the whole onion. Because it'll cook down quite a bit. Let's go for that. Take that off the heat. Right. Pop that on there. Let that soak up the moisture. And we'll finish this off. Maybe what, half a capsicum? And I'll just probably eat the other half fresh. Once again, just sort of loosely cut into small-ish pieces. Cut. Go away. One to squeeze on, and then one just for the fish fresh, I think. Get off. Fluff her up. <laughs> Probably should get the fork out. Mmm, <laughs> couscous is good. Yum. It's nice and fluffy too. Quite a bit of oil because we're going to get fry all of this ingredients off. There you see it's soaking up. Oh. It's definitely a two hand job. Let me just make sure this doesn't slip off though. Just the weights. <laughs> it's a three hand job. I also want those capsicums to cook down quite a bit. So let's get them into it. Don't fall. Stack of salt and pepper. This is salt and pepper in one now, I've just mixed. <laughs> Quite a bit of salt and pepper there. And you probably still might put more in. And we'll just cook this down and then we'll mix it through the couscous. Quickly do our fish and we'll be in the money. Uh, do it son. We'll put a bit of turmeric in now and a bit of cumin. So we'll put some more in once we start mixing the couscous through. Mmm. Man, cumin and turmeric together, just a match made in heaven. My God, it smells so good. Oh, look at that. All that yummy caramelized kind of deliciousness. They're ready. They are ready, so I might just turn this off for a sec. Let's get our couscous. Man, we got way too much couscous. We got an issue, because that I want sort of like half that. Maybe, you know what I can do? I bought some plastic bags. We'll split it up now so we don't ruin our whole meal by under flavoring the couscous. You know what? Just, does it fit right over? <laughs> that would be the best and most convenient one for me. Here we go. And that way we can try and reuse the couscous if we need to tomorrow. So what, I don't know what I was thinking. I knew it was too much anyway. So there, with half the couscous, we can put this on the uh, roller up. Now we can have, actually use that over the next day or two. We'll put that on the ice. Can you go there? All right. Now, let's add our, add our ingredients here. Yeah, it was just too much. I didn't want to, yeah, you, there's nothing worse than when you say making a fried rice or a couscous or something and you, 
and you don't have enough tasty ingredients to flavor the whole thing it would have been a mistake just to throw it in geez i tell you if you guys could smell this right now so delicious you know what else you could put in some people will hate this but you could put raisins in here or pine nuts or almonds but i didn't bring any of those things oh that bit of couscous in that bottom corner of the pan And salt and pepper. Surprising how much flavor the uh, will get soaked up. So don't be shy adding more seasoning. Yum. That is delicious. You could eat that just like that. But we're gonna add even more. Down into the oil there. Make sure it gets a bit of a cook. You can actually eat the row uncooked as well. And can we flip the fish without breaking it? We can. What do you know? Guys, open. and crisp up the row a bit. Now what we'll do is we'll just put the couscous in here. And we'll eat out of the pan because the pan's going to be a little bit nicer to eat out of than the pot. <laughs> Look at those bits of fish. Oh, I broke it. Stack it up though. Another bit of row on top. <laughs> it's falling down. Oh wow. In. I think this is a fork meal. Wow, that is a meal and a half right there. So we'll go some row first. Let's, let's try and break it up. Oh, come on, one hand. <laughs> All right, let's just bite it. Let's just get that bit. Let's get that bit. There, bang. <laughs> Bit of rope. Mmm. Mmm. You know what that rope? You, if you're ever into those dips, like Greek dips, like terima salada, um, it's got that kind of taste to it, actually. And you can you can really taste just a little. There's a hint of fishy flavour through it, but it's still subtle. And with those um, sort of uh, with that cumin and the turmeric, it's actually quite delicious. Mmm. Let's go a bit of fish. Oh, look at that fish. As you can see, it's a beautiful white flesh fish inside. Ooh, get that bit of capsicum. Mm. Very good. It's all very good. Well, looks like we avoided that storm, <laughs> but you can no longer see the mainland at all. <laughs> There's a little hint of that other island that we passed. That's the one where I lost the fish earlier on, past that point. But yeah. I wonder what happens out there, eh? Big Spanish. That's the end of today. But um, yeah, I don't think much is going to happen except a sunset. 
and I don't even know if we'll get a sunset. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. It might just be <laughs> grey for the rest of the evening. But tomorrow morning we'll wake up first thing. We're going to just go straight to the boat, put on these gar. I've got some gar in that uh, ice bag and we'll go and cut some laps and see if we can get a big fish. Anyway, I'd say I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Big Spanish.